Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video with me. Uh, today we're going to be doing a walk around on my 2005 Toyota Tacoma. Hope you guys liked that little intro I did about washing her. Um, she is a little dirty since I last washed her. Because um, it has been a couple of days. I just haven't had time to record. It's just been pretty windy and just a bunch of dirt just blew on her. But we're pretty much going to break this down into four categories, which are engine, suspension, lights, and exterior. All right, now let's get started. Guys, we're gonna start with the exterior for now, and we're gonna start with the front. All right, so right here, I got this uh, Paramount Aeromotive grill. I actually got this on eBay on the auction. I got this for $60, actually. I do not know what the original price is for it, but I'll do my best to get that and get the link on where to get it if you're interested in one. Um, I'll also do that with everything else that I will be showing you guys today. Um, also, so here's the grill. I actually drilled those little uh, Raptor lights on there myself so that doesn't come with it. But if you guys are interested in that, um, just let me know. I can give you guys some pointers on how to do it. The next thing is this. Is this called the Evo Off-Road Sports Bar? It's basically just a little bumper guard. I got this a couple years ago on eBay for $280. I do not know if they still make this. I'll try to look for one. I tried earlier, but had no luck. But I'll do, I'll do some more digging around, see if they still make it. Um, I, it comes with this little cutout for a light bar right here. Um, so that light bar didn't really come with it. I put that on myself, but I'll explain that later on when I get to that category. But yeah, it's a pretty nice little bar myself i mean nothing like a off-road actual bumper but you know it wasn't that expensive and i took off the front bumper to make it more a little more aggressive and i really like it to be honest uh probably won't keep this forever i still want a actual off-road um steel bumper but i'll be for a later video yeah so the next thing we got is this bulletproof fabrication skid plate um, this was actually the first mod I ever did to this truck and it's crazy how this went to all of this <laughs> Just a big old money pit, but you know what? I love it. So It's all good, but yeah, I mean I got this years ago. Uh, I got it for like $200 um, uh, It came with a little Accessory over there to put a shackle like a little shackle mount over there uh, I don't have that on here, but also probably needs a, another powder coat. It's seen better days. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. I mean, it looks pretty nice. Also, without the bumper and just that guard, I think it pretty matches up pretty good. Okay, so the next thing we got is this Safari Snorkel over here. This is completely like badass. This is like one of my favorite mods that I have done. And my girlfriend actually got me this two years ago for Christmas. Crazy, huh? Like that she actually got me this $500 snorkel for my truck. Just crazy. Like, like, will your girlfriend do that? I mean, I don't know, but crazy how mine actually did. I feel like I won the lottery with her. But yeah, here you go. Guys, next thing we got are these little window visors over here. Sadly, it only comes for the front. Uh, they don't really make any for the rear. Well, that I've seen, I actually got these uh, years ago, like I've been saying. <laughs> but these were like $20 or so. Uh, they're actually like 30 something now. Crazy, like how prices just rise over the years. But it's a little nice accessory, in my opinion. Also, it keeps the sun out from your face sometimes, from the inside. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you had a double cab, I'm pretty sure they make it for the rear, of course, but mine's an axe cab, so sadly, that I know of, they don't. But yeah, here you go. Guys, the next thing we got are these rock sliders I got over here. Uh, some guy on Facebook actually fabbed them up for me and for like $150, and I think he shipped them for me for like another 50 I believe it was. So I pretty much got these pretty cheap. I mean, we're also gonna get sliders for like $200. I just welded them on myself. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I like them. 
I mean better than buying some for like five seven hundred dollars that I've seen and they're sturdy too I mean look at this I mean that ain't going over <laughs> but yeah here you go Guys, next thing we got over here is this Prinzu Design Studio roof rack over here with a 30 inch cutout for the light bar. Uh, this is another one of my favorite accessories. I feel like it just gives that little touch to the truck and it like fits perfectly on there. I mean, just look, look at that fitment. Let's get on top over here. Uh, I got this for like $500. It was before they increased the price. I believe they're like $600, almost $700 now. Just crazy. I got the thing that sucks about the Axis Cab ones is that you actually have to drill into the roof since um, they don't have the factory mounts like the double cabs do. Uh, but the Axis Cab ones are actually. A little cheaper than the double cab ones since I believe they're smaller or they probably just feel bad because you have to drill into your truck but I mean it's all good I guess but I mean yeah all right, guys next thing we got is this little carbon fiber antenna over here it says TRD as well this used to be black and I don't know what happened I think with the Sun it just faded out and it turned into this pretty nice bronze color actually like it better than the black to be honest uh, I believe this was like like a couple bucks probably like ten dollars I believe I don't know if I got it on Amazon or eBay but don't worry guys I'll leave a link down below below where to get it if you guys are interested alright guys we're gonna move back over here to this little nice tail tail light guards over here I think they're pretty cool I feel like it gives it a nice little look I don't know maybe you guys might not like it but I do um, I'm actually slacking too on getting some aftermarket tail lights. I mean, it looks pretty weird, I'll say, without some blacked out lights or something. I feel like it's just missing that little touch in the back. It's also missing a nice little steel bumper over here, but don't worry, guys. We'll get there soon. All right, guys, now we're going to get down to the shoes. Uh, these are some Method race wheels. I believe they are MR312. Uh, these are not real bead locks, by the way, sadly, but they still look nice, to be honest. I mean, I like how they're a little concave in there. And the bronze just really brings out the truck. I mean, since it's black, like, it, it, just, it, just, it just goes with it, guys. I don't know. I love them. Uh, they weren't that expensive either. Well, expen not that expensive to me, I guess. I mean, might be a little expensive to you guys, but, I mean, for some nice quality wheels, I mean can't put a price on it uh, they were like I think in total it was like a thousand dollars with the mount imbalance on them but yeah I mean I think they're just badass also got these wrapped with some Goodyear Wranglers uh, all terrains um, I uh, actually want to upgrade to a little bigger tires these are just some 265 70s 17s Kind of want to get some 33s or something just to give it a, a little nicer big look and I mean I'm pretty sure I could clear them in the front. I mean look at all that space over here. I, mean, I don't know we'll see once these go to waste we'll get some new ones. We're going to move on to the suspension of the truck and here I have a 3 inch lift uh, with some Bilstein uh, extended struts. Um, they are the 5100s I believe so. Um, I have been slacking desperately on getting some upper control arms that are meant for a lift and uh, yeah I mean I um, haven't had a problem I mean I had this for like two years already haven't had any problems but now here's some squeaking going on but I'm pretty sure I just need to um, get some upgrades over here also my ball joints are worn out and everything over there but I mean I got some videos coming guys so don't worry um, but nothing much in the front just the extended shock they gave it a three inch lift also had um over here um, also had a um, one inch uh, drop kit for the front diff over here but other than that 
that's pretty much all I have for the front. But I mean, I got more things coming. I wish I could do like a total chaos um, long travel kit, but I mean, I just don't have the budget for that. And over here in the rear, uh, instead of going with the block, I went with the add a leaf over here that gives it a two inch lift as well. And also with the other bill stings in the back. These are the same length, but we'll give it the lift. It's just those, um, uh, that add a leaf that you put on the leaf pack. And I also got the old man emu, um, carrier bearing spacer over here. It's like a one inch. It's basically just to um, keep the geometry, the stock geometry of the truck. So you, can, you won't have that much vibes going on with the drivetrain. But um, it was like $20. I would highly recommend it. Um, also, they also make some other actual shims that you put under the leaf packs as well. That I'm probably going to do as well because I have a lot of vibrations still. And also going to do a U-bolt flip kit as well for the leaf pack. Alright guys, awesome. next thing we're going to do is mount to the engine. Over here, we have um, a fee power cold air intake I got. I got this a couple years ago as well. It was like 300 something dollars, I believe. Um, it really made an improvement in power and throttle response. A lot of people say it doesn't do much, for, but for this truck, I feel like it made a huge difference. Um, but yeah. Here you go. You guys, next thing we got are these high flow AFE power headers with a Y pipe. Sorry if you guys can't really see, it's a pretty tight fit over here. But um, yeah, um, it also has this little nice little plate touch up by AFE. I also have it finished up with a Magna Flow uh, cap back that ends before the axle. It's a pretty loud setup, uh, but it's a nice little tone. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. show you guys is this uh, AP power throttle body spacer right there um, it gives a little nice cool little whistle to be honest um, I like it uh, and it increases uh, miles per gallon supposedly I don't know that's what that's the only reason I really got it for uh, trying to save gas because this thing is a gas waster alright guys next thing I want to show you guys is this nice little cool TRD oil cap Gives it a little nice cool little feature on the engine bay. But yeah, alright, next thing we're gonna do is move on to the light okay, So we got a uh, power trays uh, panel over here for my setup. I got the blank one because I pretty much made my own setup here. It's sort of organized, sort of not. I mean, it could be better, but I mean, this is how I had it. Um, it's still not finished, so I'll probably show a video. Um, when I finish it and I'll also show you guys how it works pretty much got on my distribution blocks over here uh, my relays and my blue C's uh, fuse block over here um, for all of this I believe it was a couple hundred dollars probably like hundred and twenty or so I mean it wasn't that expensive I mean I works <laughs> keeps me sort of organized still have my bird nest of wires over here but hey better than before I guess we have my little three raptor lights over here got these on eBay for like ten dollars I explained earlier I really like them I know it's kind of like a copycat to the Ford Raptor and everything but I mean I like it so as long as I like it I mean I'm gonna put it on there but pretty bright especially in the night I feel like it just looks pretty 
sick. I mean, just look at that. Now we have now we have my Kelly Ray's LED ditch light pods and brackets. I only went with the amber ones because I like how the amber looks. But just look at that. <laughs> They're really bright. I have gotten pulled over before them actually. I did not get a ticket luckily. <laughs> but yeah, I mean look at that. They are super bright in the night. They were like hundred and something dollars, I believe. Um, yeah, I'll try my best to leave everything in the description, guys. But yeah, look at that. We have my little 20-inch light bar I explained earlier. Um, I just, just the Amazon one. It's nothing special. But, I mean, hey, it's bright. <laughs> it's all that matters, right? I mean, I'm not going to pay, like, what, thousand dollars for a badass light bar? I mean, that's crazy. Like, those nice KC ones, but, hey. I work with what I got. Now I'm gonna explain my little 30 inch uh, slim light bar on top that I have on my rack. Just an Amazon one again, it's nothing special. Uh, I would have turned this on, but <laughs> I have not wired it yet because I don't know how I want to wire it. And I am a big procrastinator, as you can see. She's been chilling on there for <laughs> a couple years. I, but yeah, I mean. I'll get to wiring it soon. Alright guys, now we're gonna get to my switch panel over here. Uh, I believe I got this on eBay for like 20 bucks or so. It's pretty nice, I mean, it works. I just mounted it down here behind my interior fuse box over here. Uh, it comes with uh, two USB ports. I mean a USB and a 12 volt port. And also comes with this little bolt gauge. It's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, there you go. Alright guys, but this pretty much concludes my walk around on my 2005 Toyota Tacoma. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Also let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, knowing myself, I probably missed a couple of things. Um, but please, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best.